In preparing for the CSWA certification exam, SolidWorks provides a sample exam you can work through. To find this sample exam, go to the SolidWorks website and then support and next certification. On the certification webpage, select CSWA. And on the right side of the screen, you will see a link for a sample CSWA exam. Go ahead and select the link. A folder will download, and you will need to unzip the files in the folder. In that folder, you will find three part files, which will be used for the assembly that you will build, along with a PDF file, which contains the directions for the sample exam. So let's open the PDF file. On the first page of the PDF file, the sample exam, you will find directions for how to take the exam, along with the required hardware and software. On the next page, you will find a breakdown of the different parts of the exam, along with how many points are dedicated towards each area. On this page, you will see a couple questions pertaining to the drawing competencies on the CSWA exam. And these two questions here are very representative of the actual exam. You will be provided a view, and then you will be asked to specify what type of view it is. Now here's a little tip. Go into your SolidWorks software and open up any part on a drawing sheet. If you believe the view you are looking at is a detail view, you can go to the View Layout tab, select Detail View, and then there's a question mark in the upper right hand corner of the Property Manager. You can select it and it's going to open a help screen showing you some samples of detail views. Now, obviously, this is not a detail view. So then let's assume you believe it's a section view. Select section view. Once again, let's click the question mark and looking through the various examples of section views, you will find in fact, you are looking at a section view. So that's kind of a hint or a tip of how you can answer these questions correctly. Let's go back to the sample CSWA PDF file and move on to the next page. On this page, you are given a part to model. In question three, you will model it according to these dimensions, along with these specifications, and then you will specify the overall mass. And then you will modify the part for question four, and then specify a new mass. And again, this is very representative of what you will be doing on the CSWA certification exam. Moving forward, We'll take the part and modify even further for question five, based on this information and the dimensions you've seen on the previous screen, and then do the same for question six. Here's the drawing view, along with the specifications. For question seven and eight, you will use the three parts found in the folder you downloaded, and based on the directions for questions seven and eight, you will assemble those parts and then specify center of mass for question seven and eight. The last page of the sample exam provides you the answers for all eight questions and a couple hints and tips that we've already covered. So that gives you a good idea of how to prepare for the CSWA certification exam. And I highly recommend that you work through this and this will give you a feel for how well you're gonna do on the exam itself.